Hi, my name is Terry Higgins, and I just picked up a new knife, or a knife that's new to me, something I'd never seen before. It's a standard stag Italian stiletto, but as you'll notice, there's no buttons on it. It releases by pushing the bolster. So there's no need for a safety due to the fact that you really have to put some effort into moving it but it's a whole brand new mechanism that I had never seen before. It's pretty interesting, pretty neat. Unlike the standard stilettos, where you would have your button open and then bolster release it, this one combines everything into the same action. A friend of mine named Brad West calls it a twin pin. You have a pin here to lock into the hole and there's another pin right here that locks into the release mechanism. So just thought it was a pretty interesting, pretty different little knife that I just picked up. Thank you. So why did you get started uh, collecting switchblades? I remember when I was younger, I would see them in movies like West Side Story and was always fascinated by the fact that if you press the button, a blade came out and uh, just always something that interested me, but I never was able to get one. As I got older and more boring, I uh, never, never pursued the hobby until about a year ago. I rediscovered them and got interested in them and just started collecting again. All different uh, styles this, of handles. This uh, bolster release is from Italy? This is an Italian knife, yes. Uh, it's not a 100% dead giveaway, but the fact it does have brass bolsters. And I did have it verified by a couple of the big collectors around here. Yes, it is definitely an Italian knife. So do you like to collect the Italian ones? Uh, that's all I collect is the Italian knives. I you got any of that your favorite? This one right here. This was my holy grail knife. I just picked this up yesterday. I, I've only been collecting about a year, but this is one of the first ones I saw that I absolutely fell in love with. The style, the size, and I found this example with some absolutely stunning horn handles. This is a pick lock where you have to actually pick up on the lock to release the knife and put it back into place. This is also, if you look in the back, it's a five millimeter thick back spring, which is a definite sign of quality and strength. And the blade itself is also a five millimeter thick backbone on the blade. So this is made by AGA Camplin in Italy. And it has a stamp on the tang. Very high quality knife, one of the best manufactured knives, recent manufactured knives you can buy. Yeah, I have, let's see. This one right here is another higher end, recently manufactured knife. It's imported by a company called Latama in New York. And once again, I love the horn handles and just fell in love with this when I saw the pictures online and decided, yep, I needed that. This is a bayonet blade or a half grind. This is a dagger blade. Right, there are different types of horn. This is a Brazilian horn. This is what they call a honey horn. You can see where it's translucent. These are very, very pretty knives. They're fun to collect. Um, this is a dark horn. Doesn't have a lot of text of different striations or variations in it, but it's also really nice to collect. And let's see, I got one other one. This is buffalo horn, and you can tell it because it's mainly brown and a cream. 
This is really a nice example of that. A lot of them are mainly predominantly brown, but this one has some very, very nice coloring to it. This is also one I picked up yesterday. This is a swing guard. And the reason for that is the guard actually swings out into place as opposed to having a fixed guard. And this has an also different locking mechanism. This is a lock back. So you just press down and the knife closes. Okay, it's always great to talk to enthusiastic collector. Thank you very much. Had an, enjoyed it.